Anyway, Mabuhay Squad. Now there is something I really would like to show you guys. Um, something I haven't shown you guys in a while, but um, it's super duper cool. And a lot of you guys have been asking about this thing that I've kind of been holding back from you guys and haven't been showing you. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. My fish tank, yes. Buhai squad, here at home, finished an epic shoot day, and I'm just trying to relax right now by looking at my beautiful fish tank. I love looking at it like during sundown, like in the evening, because the colors really pop. Like, see? Like when the whole room is dark and the fish tank is like light. It's just so beautiful. See, I got rainbow fish there, some angels, um, rummy nose tetras, a ton of cleaner fish. I've got like an al Siamese algae eater right there. Hey, did he try attacking one of the fish? Yeah, Siamese algae eater and a skinny monkey back there. I rarely show my fish tank in these but a lot of you guys ask for it. So if we go to the back here, there's the Siamese algae eater, there's the skinny monkey. They both eat algae. And throughout this tank, you'll also find um, Autosynclus catfish, which also eat algae. If you look here, I've got an awesome bush of Java moss. Java fern is over here, naturally growing off the wood. There's a Anubias there. This is Amazon swords, beautiful. This was the baby of the main Amazon swords which used to live back here, but, oh, there it is, yep, right there. Along the bottom, oh, there's some Autosynclus catfish, yes. They've lived for, I would say, at least two years now I've had them. Some of these fish are, have been here for two, three, four years. More Autosynclus there. This here is Sagittaria grass. Now, like, it's due for a haircut. Like, I pull all of this out, and in just a month or two, it's all grown back. It's very prolific. Um, I've recently also added this, see? Pothos plant from my chameleon's cage because I had to empty my chameleon plant tank uh, enclosure because my ants escaped. It's all explained on my ant channel, but Pothos planted directly into the tank, which actually also helps with um, detoxifying the water of uh, toxic nitrates on both sides. Um, and yeah, it's a, uh, it's just a beautiful tank. Like I, I'm always on a constant quest to not take things for granted. Like to really look around and appreciate all the things um, that RJ and I have. You know, like really take the time to just remember and take a moment to appreciate this because I dreamed of having a planted fish tank like this. Um, and it's just so. Isn't beautiful guys the colors like I don't even maintain it we don't even really cut sometimes I harvest this Java moss and I mean we cut that red plant at the back but like generally it maintains itself and look at how clean it is the the system is super duper balanced a lot of these plants have not received any kind of extra soils from when I first put the soil beads in like years ago they're just like feeding off the fish's poop you know what I mean it's really wonderful anyway that's my fish tank yeah now, don't think all of this just came together like quickly. No, this took years to like, you know, construct. And I say that because like, I mean, it takes time for a tank to reach like a certain balance, like biological, ecological equilibrium. You know what I mean? So it was definitely not an overnight thing. <laughs> Fish tanks do take time. This here is about an 85 gallon, I believe. RJ says it'll stay here, like even when we move to the Mobuhai squad farm, which is okay, but I am gonna miss seeing it every day. But that only means we're just gonna have to create a new one, <laughs> like when we move, like a larger one. And that should be fun. Now in terms of equipment, gosh, they're schooling right now. They're so beautiful. They school together. Cause like, they feel like one knows where all the food is. <laughs> So they like follow each other. So I've got a long LED light specifically for like growing plants in aquariums. I even have this extra lamp. I don't know why I decided to have extra lighting, but like it sort of helps the plants at the back. I even have this lamp as well. 
just because I feel like it looks nice. And of course, the plants towards the middle, love it. I love having kind of like a spotlight, like a sunspot, kind of like as if the sun was like beaming through a hole in the trees and it just kind of like, you know, creates a sunspot, love that. And in terms of filtration, if you look down here, okay, sorry about this spaghetti of wires. This here is a Sharuba external filter. Um, it's really been amazing at um, keeping the waters clean. Um, I use it for some of my other tanks. Like I use a sh this exact same Sharuba filter for my Selva de Fuego in my ant room. So it's been really great. Um, and to support the plant, where is it? Where are ya? All of this stuff is usually hidden in like, you know, a cupboard like underneath the tank, but mine's all exposed because I'm a noob that way. All right, where are ya? So I have the plants breathing off carbon dioxide. See that, see those bubbles? The plants are just getting that extra boost of carbon dioxide and it causes the plants to really bloom. Without it, like my plants would not be as beautiful. Here we go, here's my carbon dioxide canister and this basically gets changed about every two months or so. Um, it's just a little bit of carbon dioxide, not too much, um, and it's enough to go a really long way at keeping the plants healthy and also keeping algae down. Some of you guys have been asking about my axolotls. Yes, my little amphibian newt type creatures and they are both very healthy. Um, I don't turn on the lights because I find it stresses them out. Um, only if I film them for like Ants Canada is when I'll turn them on. Um, but they prefer dark and they've been doing really well down here where the air conditioning is kept on most of the time and uh, they like it cooler here. Still doing great. There's one. Where's the other? The other is somewhere in here hiding. Good morning Hope. Yes, pecking at her sorghum. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like some kind of grain, like a whole wheat. Okay, let me let me grab some sorghum. Let me show my bohai squad. It's like some whole wheat grain type thing. This one is completely organic and gluten free. She loves that. You eat your sorghum. She was just pecking on banana peel earlier. Oh, and look who else is here. Good morning, Ligaya. Morning, the guys. Mm-hmm. She's watching out to Elsie on her mobile. And of course, here's our frog. Good morning, frog. Oh, let's see if he'll eat. All right. So this frog, according to the AC family on my ant channel, his current name now, from now on, will be Jabba the Hut. <laughs> Here, Jabba, I've got a pellet for you. Let's see if he'll eat. Pellet. Go. Whoops. Go. Go, go, go. There we go. Oops. You didn't eat it all. See, they use the bottom of their eyes to crush their food. Here. It's gotta be an easier way. Here, come on. There's more. Come on. I'll leave this right here. Maybe you will eat it. I'll leave that right there. There you go. Oh, you, you missed. Now, if this were a baby mouse, it wouldn't be so hard. There. It's already breaking up. Aww. I'll just leave that there. Feel free to eat it. It's usually a lot easier than this. Scratch. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> yes, such a good bird. Now, African greys tend to be a one-person bird, apparently. Like, if you don't socialize them well or enough when they're young. But the Gaia here is bonded with Ate Elsie, myself, RJ, and RJ's sisters. Basically, all the people in the flock, which is great. We've worked hard to do this. But you don't want them to be, like, completely friendly to everyone, like strangers. Like, she's okay to strangers but she will like flare like she'll puff up and like fake bite strangers um which kind of is a good thing um and i learned this from bird tricks the professional bird trainers um here on youtube um especially if you free fly your bird or your bird i don't know like escapes you still want them to have that innate fear of people and strangers because you know there are bad people out there who might steal her or like hurt her so she needs to be able to fly away in case people approach. Right there guys? You're bonded to the flock. So all of you Mabuhai squad who might meet me out in public while I'm with Ligaya and if Ligaya doesn't warm up to you like she won't let you scratch her. Like don't take it personally. That's just that's how she is and that's how we prefer it. Right there guys? Mm-hmm. Good morning beautiful fish. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous fish. The axolotls are out <laughs> to catch some sun even though they like the dark. Yes what? What is it? Do you have something to add? Hmm? I know what she wants to say. Follow me on Instagram! Guys, follow Ligaya on her new Instagram. <laughs>
Ligaya the African Grey. She answers back comments too. All right, the guys, you're an Instagrammer now. You're an influencer bird. What is, what's going on here? Look at her beautiful face. Look at that loving bird gaze. Did you learn any new sounds, any new words? Hmm? There's this sound she makes that I believe sounds like, you know that sound when you plug in a USB to a laptop? Bloom, bloom. That kind of sound? <laughs> Um, or unplug. I believe she's learned to make that sound as well. By the way guys, if you're new to these vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos, that's Ligaya. We've got tons of animals at the LCs down there. RJ's right there. Yeah, we're heading to a business meeting now. Oh, someone's calling us. Oh, we got a package. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai squad. Hello. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Hello. There's a package. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Ligaya, I think it's a package for you. Are you excited? I know, I'm excited too. <laughs> the guys, trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm working, I'm waiting for your package to arrive. We're gonna fly later. We'll practice some blind recall. Yeah, oh, not my earring, no, no, no. She's like, what else can I chew on? She wants scratches, all right. Your package is here. Hey guys, look what daddy ordered you. So RJ ordered this. We've been waiting months for this. Months for this package here for the guys. She's watching, she's like, what is it? My boy high squad, it's time to open this awesome package. And here comes Ligaya, cause she's wondering what it is. It's been forever, forever. She's like, what is it? What is it? Ligaya landed on my shoulder. She wants to see what's in this package. Yes, the guys, this is for you. Oh my gosh, Abu High Squad. Check out what just came in the mail. It's hard to open. Here it is, Mobile High Squad. 